Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the series of algorithm analysis, next we are going to analyze the third type of problem that is when the loop variable is multiplied by some constant. But before getting into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever I upload a new video. As we discussed in lecture 2, every statement in your code takes one unit of time and every variable in your code takes one unit of memory other than the input variable. If you want to know why this assumption is made, then you can check it out in the playlist and watch that video. I will also provide you the link in the description box. Now, this declaration statement will be executed only once. So, it will take one unit of time. And then, since this statement is present inside the loop, we have to check how many times this particular statement will be executed. For each iteration, i is multiplied by 2. Initially, i value is 1 and then it will become 2 and then it will become 4 and then it will become 8. So, this pattern will be continued till i is equal to n because that is our for loop condition. Now, if you see here, when the loop variable is multiplied by 2, then this is the pattern for i. Now, what happens when the loop variable is multiplied by 3 or some other constant? Then obviously, this pattern will be changed, right? And that's why you have to write these i values in terms of this constant value 2. So, this will be 2 power 0, 2 power 1. 2 power 2, 2 power 3 and so on, 2 power k. Now you can also write this i as 2 power k. Here also 2 power k less than or equal to n. So i ranges from 2 power 0 to 2 power k. But we don't know the value of k, right? So now our goal is to find out the k value and that will give you how many times 2 is multiplied by itself such that i is equal to n. So apply log on both sides with base as 2. So log 2 power k base 2 equal to log n base 2. You can bring this k here. So k log 2 base 2 equal to log n base 2. We know that log 2 base 2 value is 1. So k is equal to log n base 2. So this loop will run k times and the time unit for this statement is log n base 2. Now what is the total time unit? log n base 2 plus 1 for this declaration statement. In priori analysis we have to consider only the higher order terms. So the time complexity for this problem is order of log n base 2. Now let's find out the space complexity. See here how many variables we are having? S yes and i. Each variable takes one unit of memory. And the total memory unit is 2 which is constant. So the space complexity for this problem is order of 1. See why we are writing this as order of 1 and what does it mean? Everything is discussed in lecture 2. If you want then go and watch it. That's it for this video. I hope this is helpful and if you like my way of teaching then hit a like button and also do subscribe to my channel.